whoa, whoa, that's Ring of Fire. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad. <laughs> Whenever I hear that, I think of. Well, think, don't mention it here. Just well, mention, you, introduce the oh, show. Neutral Zone Infraction slash that mediocre sports show. You know what I'm thinking of. Uh, I know what you're thinking, but we're not going to talk okay, about it on the show. It's not like that's I not just, a sports topic at all. <laughs> I'll tell you. But maybe not. Anyway, uh, today's topic is. Our favorite and least favorite players from the NFC North. North. Where I wish I was because it's probably colder. Um, no. I do a lot of stuff no, on the CFL right now. It's so it's not. It's not colder in the. North. But I do a lot of stuff on the CFL, so maybe I need to go norther. You norther. need to go norther if that's a word, because you got norther. to figure quickly here. Uh, the thing about the places that are north, it's really cold in the winter, and it's super miserable hot in the summer. You would hate that. Don't don't kill my buzz. Don't kill my buzz of thinking the further I get closer to the North Pole, it gets colder, and I well, want it to be that. It will be colder, but I'm just telling you, the Midwest, Minnesota, North Dakota, well, not mid, well, whatever. Mid You're just looking up. I'm it's looking like, up. I'm going to name all the teams, at, or all the states at the top just of the country. Just saying, I've been there. <laughs> uh, Washington, Idaho's up there, the Montana. Skiers, it's Seth. hot. It's You're not going to like it. Anyway, back, you digress. Okay, so we're going to start. We're just going to do an alphabetical order. Chicago Bears. Who is our favorite and least favorite players from the Chicago Bears. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do this first of all. I because it's almost my birthday. I am going to Almost happy birthday to you, sir. Thank you. I am going to get <laughs> my my <laughs> <Wow>. Doesn't he look older? <laughs> that's that's his favorite number, that's all it is. Uh, I'm going to say this. I reserve the right to pick more than one bear and one more, more than one Viking that I really like. And uh, you already were going to name a bunch, but Walter Payton you got to name just because he did so much with so little. Oh, that's true. Walter Payton, for the longest time, was the only star on that offense. And Tick Buckus was cool, although you never saw him play, and I really didn't either, but cool. Dan Hampton, Perry. I'm just naming people from the 85 Bears. They were really cool. Except for Buckus. And you forgot McMahon. And you forgot Singletary. And you forgot. I just said 85 Bears. I think I covered it. I think, yeah. I, the, my favorite player from the Chicago Bears it's is the 85, 85 Bears. Bears. Here you go. <laughs> now, you. My, uh, you know what, I will pick one single player. Although, like, I, you, know, like you mentioned, uh, McMahon, Peyton, uh, Perry, Singletary, Hampton. Dent. Uh, Dent. I mean, how can we forget Dent, Dorson? They had so, they had so many great players. Wilbur Marshall, Wilbur Marshall, uh, Willie Galt, Gale Sayers. Uh, it, it, what was the offensive? He wasn't in '85, was, but I couldn't. What help was it. the What was the offensive line? Oh, you in? had you had uh, Covert. Yeah, Big Jumbo Covert, Jim, and, Big Jim Covert. And you had uh, Hildenberg. Does that sound right? That yeah, sounds right, kind of. Something. I just remember him. Uh, that offensive line was pretty good. That offensive line was pretty good at that oh, point. Oh, Steve McMichaels. I dug yeah. him. Yeah, Mongo McMichael. Yeah. But I will pick one player, and I think the guy that always stood out for me with the Bears was the eyes. The <gasps> eyes of Singletary. That to, me is, that, to me, is the epitome of the 85 Bears is just that guy. That intensity, that ability. Mike Singletary be my favorite. Okay, real quick though, uh, he also had one of the greatest uh, coaching rants too. Oh, of course he did. Can't coach him. Can't teach him. Can't can't, <laughs> can't win, win with them. Can't, can't play win, with them. Can't play with. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, I oh, I love that rant. It's a good that rant. That was a really great. So anyway. and I think Singletary and Singletary actually is going to be a head coach in the AAF. They've actually hired oh, him to cool. be a head coach in the AAF. So hopefully that'll get him maybe back into the NFL. If you know. I think that that San Francisco team he ended up with wasn't that good. And I think he kind of turned Vernon Davis around, if you think about it, because mm -hmm. Vernon Davis became a better player oh, I think it's fine. after that. He just had a little meltdown there. Can't do it. Can't. Oh, that's, that's George Bush. Sorry. <laughs> not going to do it. Not, not going to not gonna play it, Vernon Davis. Not going to do it. Not <laughs> hey, going to put him on the field, sit him on the okay, bench, I'm gonna make stop. him eat his broccoli. I'm going to stop you so you don't go like 40 minutes. Uh, How about... <laughs> You can, you can okay. save your save your impressions for your other shows. You have all. Oh so many. Well, well, sorry. <laughs> Should I talk in a deeper voice nah, just that's... so that you're more? <laughs> I have a normal voice. <laughs> okay, so I'll do our least favorite players from the Chicago Bears, and we both were going to name Cutler, 
But instead, when I was looking through them, I found my least favorite. It got an immediate reaction. Rick Meyer. Rick Meyer. Two Heisman Trophy winning. Oh, you didn't do that, did you? At Notre Dame. Rick Meyer. Overrated in college. Overrated once he got to the pros. I will test Awful career. I will, Good. I will test your hate. What was this number? Three. There you go. <laughs> who, was, who was also another college player that had the number three that you don't like? I, we don't have to mention him. We did, we, there's no reason to mention but him. But you know him then, okay? Like, yeah, I know, but we don't have to mention him. Just let him throw it in there. Notre, it's like, well, we, Notre oh, that's Dame. right. We're still Canada. And we still have that division to get to. And there you go. Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, Notre Dame. That's where I was talking. My least favorite college players. Notre Dame. <laughs> Notre Dame. My least favorite college team. Notre Dame or Ohio State. One of the two. Oh, you're right in the middle. <clears throat> okay, so who's yours? Uh, my least favorite? Your least favorite Chicago Bear. Hmm. I think... Whew, that's rough. That is rough, and I'm sure there's one out there. And I know it, you know, I actually have a couple in mind, but... Uh, I think I'm going to go probably. It's quarterback. I'm thinking Grossman. First of all, I don't like his name. <laughs> Grossman. Grossman. Second of all, uh, he sucked. The original RG. Yeah. He Remember? Because it's like got RG3. He, he, made, original he RG. made Kyle Orton look good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, you can make Kyle Orton look good. It's saying something. And he got to the Super Bowl, and I'm glad they lost. No offense, because I was kind of pulling for Peyton. And uh, we'd have had another terrible quarterback win a Super Bowl ring had they won. Uh, Dilfer, can't, Grossman. Can't have it. Can't do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we'll move from Chicago. We'll go to Detroit. This one took us a while because it's like, again, it's one of those teams. They haven't been successful in a long time. So they don't build up a lot of hatred or animosity. Uh, I know they have. They've never even been to a Super Bowl in the Super Bowl era, and we we've, we've had fifty two of these things. I don't even think their players are allowed to go unless they win to get there. I just, don't even think they can get tickets. That's right. There, you're not allowed to even. Zero and sixteen. Zero and sixteen. Them and the Cleveland Browns. How did Tampa Bay too? How do you? Well, well you look at that. Cleveland Browns have never won a Super Bowl either. Nope. The two teams that have been zero and sixteen have never won a Super Bowl. That's so sad. Well, there's only been 50-some of them. I mean, oh, you know, only 53, 52 Super Bowls so far. How cool like, is it to live in a, live in a And city? they've been in the league for all 52 of those years. Yep. Well, no, Cleveland, I guess, had the couple of years where they weren't there when Baltimore moved over. Actually, Cleveland does have those Super Bowls, if you think about it. They have oh, both. that's true. I guess they would have the, the original franchise. You know, you idiots Bowls. in Cleveland. No offense. That didn't want the stadium. That didn't want the stadium. You could have had two Super Bowls. And Ray Lewis and all kinds oh, of cool stuff. Oh, some of the best players ever on defense. But that's okay. You have a team now, and it's yeah, yeah. And you have a team now, and hope I, I am, I am very hopeful that Baker Mayfield will do good things for them. Because I like Baker Mayfield. The Johnny Manziel of the two thousand eight. Hey, that, 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 don't, don't. It's like Baker Mayfield. Don't, don't you, don't you start with me. Okay. All right, least let's let's start this off with our favorite. Player of the Detroit Lions, mine's easy. Barry Sanders. That's probably going to be most people's. I'm not going to try to fool you and dig in to find some, like somebody like touchdown Tommy Bardell, if he was there. You I know, can't remember where if, he was. I, uh, because we try not to pick the same player. We try not to, but it's tough when you're talking. So I'm going to. You're prob- going to say Stafford, aren't you? You're no, going to say Matthew I don't Stafford, like Stafford is your best. Player. I don't hate anybody. I don't <laughs> like Stafford, just because he's not. He's got all the tools, and I don't know what his problem is. Maybe the team sucks, but that's still... If you're great, you overcome the suck. You're going to say Orlandis Gary, aren't you? That's your favorite nope, Detroit? Nope. I am going to go with Alex Karras because he was a mediocre actor, but he did play in Blazing Saddles. He punched a horse. That was cool. And he played in MASH. And when you look at it, he's never going to be in the Hall of Fame. I nope. really wanted to name as my least favorite, though. You wanted him as your least favorite? No. No, not Alex Carroll's. I liked Alex Carroll's. I never got to see him play, but I liked him. I liked some of the stuff he did. He and was, he was he was kicked. he was the dad in Webster, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. We, that wasn't that Webster was not his kid. He just I know Webster wasn't his kid. But I don't that think show he, was, I don't think that he knew show that. was so bad. I think she came home with the kid, and he's like, "Wow." Couldn't watch that show. I could watch Different Strokes, but I couldn't watch Webster. Anyway, uh, 
See, now you go and do that crap. And now my head's spinning. 404, page down. But I'm back. <laughs> Alex hey, Ke Jerror. Er Alex Karras was also uh, suspended for a year with, I want to say, Jim Taylor or Paul Horning. I can't remember. It was a Green Bay Packer for gambling. And uh, the other Green Bay Packer apologized. Said, I'm sorry, blah, 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 blah. Got in the Hall of Fame <clears throat> eventually. Karras never did apologize. He didn't think he needed to. And, I, you know, I, I, that's another thing I like about Karras. He was just like, you. But, uh, anyway, Karras. Alex Karras. Number 71. So, least favorite. I really want to name Matt Millen on this, but I think we said we were going to stick it to players only. I'm not sticking it to anybody. You <laughs> do what you want. But, <laughs> but it's like, uh, it's like I really want to name Matt Millen because he destroyed that team do for it. so many years. He just he destroyed. It's not that he was. It's not that he was a bad player when he played in the NFL, but he was a he was a terrible GM. Three wide receivers in a row with your number one picks. He did that. He did that. I mean, three in a row, and only one of them really amounted to anything. And the other two, I mean, I, I think Charles Rogers came out of Michigan, Michigan State, and he wasn't very good. And they had another. I think they had like a Carlos Rogers or something. And maybe he liked the name Rogers. I, I, I might have named Carlos Rogers twice. Might be stuck in my head, but <laughs> I, he got a guy out of USC that was pretty decent. Uh, I think the guy, no, the guy out of Michigan State was hey, good. Yeah, the guy uh, out of USC was bad. But Matt gonna, Millen, I'm just going to name Matt Millen as my least favorite. I was ask you, are you, you going to pick Matt? Are you going to? Are you going to pick? A, who are you going to pick? Who are you going to? Who are you? Don't you hurry me. I let you mess around you with Matt pick? Millen for about an hour, <laughs> and then just. <laughs> Decided to pick him. Uh, and he played for the Raiders. And he played for the Raiders and the Niners, two teams I don't like that there much. You go. So there we go. There you go. Uh, least favorite Detroit Lion. You know, they're a team that's been so, like, we that basically, like, you can pick. There are so many players you could pick that you like. With Detroit, I can't think anyone I didn't really like because they just suck so bad. I felt sorry for them all. Yeah, you feel bad for them. But They're irrelevant. I am irrelevant. I am gonna pick. I had somebody on my mind, and when we were discussing it, who did I say? I can't remember now. It's been a while. I'm just trying to get even for Pastorini. <laughs> I was gonna name Dan Orlovsky, but no, you were gonna say Stafford. I was going to say Stafford, but because I thought you, you were going to take all of I'm going to say Stafford. Screw it. Yeah, because Orlovsky was going to be my original pick because, you know, how do you just run out of the back of the end zone and still think the play is going? Maybe he, <laughs> that, that, is, well, that is the worst field awareness of all if time. If any of our Canadian fans are watching, Randy is pretty big in Can Can Canada. <laughs> Can oh, Canada. Whatever. Oh, now you're going to act like you like them. I do like okay. them. It's colder up there. I want to go cold. to Canada. I like Canada too, and I like. Anyway, uh, maybe he thought it was a player from Canada, and he thought the end zone was bigger. He did. Probably thought it was another ten yards bigger. I don't know if Orlovsky ever went up there. I actually, he'd probably find a way to run out of that end zone. Twenty yards deep, he'd find a way to run. I out think of that the one NFL too. end zone should be twenty yards. I like that rule. I do too. Oh, huge end zones. Huge. Okay, so anyway, the I red think, zone would be bigger. Bigger, bigger is better. Could you imagine being? First and goal on the one yard line, and you still got twenty yards of end zone to work uh, with. Ah, oh, how much fun would see, that, that be? That would be something the NFL should look into. If you want to increase, uh, oh, slow down, everybody, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> if you want, to, a little excited over there. If you, this, you want to, anyway, you know what I'm going to say. So anyway, <laughs> I know what you're going to say. All right, we're going to move to the, we're going to move on to the Green Bay Packers. I don't know how Detroit got us talking about Canada, but here we go. Canada, not far Minnesota. away. Minnesota. Matter of fact, they're right across the lake. Good. Good. I'm just stating a the fact. There's no good to it. I'm not sure. I don't know geography that well, so I can't say yes Detroit or no. Detroit is it. way up here in Michigan. I know where it's up there, and there's a you know, but it's like I don't know where Detroit is. It. I don't know if it's in the bottom half of Michigan. I've never really thought to go, even though the automotive industry is there. I could go get a Ford. You know what? You can go out your parking lot and get a Ford if you want. Uh, I've seen the Fords in my parking lot. They're not worth getting. Anyway, what team was next? Green Bay. Okay, because I thought you said Minnesota. No, I said Green Bay. Nah, the cool thing about tape is we can look later. Yeah, well, we can look but, later. Maybe I was thinking Minnesota because it's close. Okay, we're going with Green Bay because we're doing alphabetical order. So, I am going to pick Charles Martin as, as your my least. least favorite. You are a dirty, rotten, no-good Sue. Dirty. 
<laughs> and I don't mean the Indian. I meant Andamican soup. Basically, if you guys want to Google the play, Charles Martin, after McMahon throws the ball, and it's after the 85 Bears won the Super Bowl, so it would have been the 86, 87, 88, whatever. Uh, McMahon throws the ball. They were having a good season that year, too. And he, he literally... I'm laughing because I can't believe it, it happened. But he uh, picked up McMahon and threw him down on his really bad shoulder, already bad shoulder, and made it a worse shoulder. Made it much worse. And then they were out, and then I think they put in... They brought Flutie in, and they had, I think, Tom Zack. And basically, a lot of the Bears said that if Tom Zack would have played instead of Flutie, because Tom Zack had been there the whole year. Yeah, Flutie, um, Dicka they thought kept Flutie the time, in for that one. Yeah, Ditka wanted Flutie in there. And he kept him in during that playoff. <laughs> Richard, thing. Richard Dent called him, he called him Ditka's, or he called him Ditka's midget. <laughs> it's just like. So he went on uh, to have. It was, he would, he, you know, he had a decent career. Yeah, I mean, he really uh, did. Uh, excuse me, sir. Who's big in Canada right now? Randy. He had a great. He had a great career in Canada. Canada, thank you. But in the NFL, he had a decent career. He wasn't. You know, he was never. He bounced around to quite a few teams. Hey, he had Flutie Flakes. Up in That's true. Up in, in Buffalo. And Buffalo, he was very Which big is, up in Buffalo. You know what? Buffalo is really just a part of Canada. They're very close. Very I close. know that much. They're very close. Yeah, very uh -huh. good. What's your next? So, uh, but what I, that was my least favorite. My favorite. Did you do your least favorite? I forgot my least favorite. I had one in my head, and now I can't remember it. I did all these things so I could sit there and go through them and remember them. And Charles Martin, that play just now, now just sticks out in my head like huge. And now I can't think of who my least well, favorite was. Desmond one. Howard. How about, uh, what else did you not like? Um... I'm trying to think of anybody that victimized. You know who might be my uh, who might be my least favorite. Who was the um, who was the? Now it's like I can't remember. It's not Leroy Butler, least, even though. My but least no, favorite. no, no. The guy that was sitting there going where he's yelling at his players about the Broncos. Oh, I know who. And it is. it's like they're not oh, even good, and we're. It's like you're playing the. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you what? off the hook. Eugene Robinson. Eugene Robinson. There we go. Because it's like you sit there telling them that they're not even good. They had Terrell Davis, Shannon Sharp, playing, and John Elway. We're playing Elliott. the Colts. Yeah, we're, we're playing, playing the Indianapolis, Indianapolis Colts. Colts. They're, they're not even good. They're not even good. They're not even as good as the Colts. <laughs> and then Eugene the next year decided to go out and... Caused problems for Atlanta. He decided to go out before the Atlanta Super Bowl. I had heard that that was a sting and he really didn't quite do that. Mm. But yeah. Eugene Robinson. I wish I could remember my original one, though, but Eugene Robinson. We'll stay with him. That'll come to you later. It'll come to me after the fact. You really are getting Okay, you're really I getting know. I remember. It's like, uh, you know what? I never really decided who my favorite player was for Green Bay, but it's going to be Don the Magic Man Mikowski. That? No, I'm not going to pick him as my favorite player. I was say, that is just the most ludicrous <laughs> thing I've heard. <laughs> that is no way is that going to be my favorite player. Well, then who's your favorite? Brett Favre. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, Brett Favre. I mean, the, the enthusiasm Brett Favre has for football. He might be my favorite Falcon. <laughs> no, I should have named him as my favorite Viking just to piss you off. <laughs> That's just not right. I don't like his He's number. my favorite Jet. I don't like his number, though. It's, it's just you don't a, like four? I think it's a stupid number. Yeah, that's my buddy Travis's favorite number. He loves the number four. Why would you like the number four? I don't know. I like the number 44. But that's two fours together, which is really cool. But one four is not cool. It's a kicker number. I don't like quarterbacks with kicker numbers. Number three, number one, no offense to Moon. Number two, that's stupid. Four. Maybe. Okay, so who's your favorite who's your favorite Packer? You're just gonna start naming off numbers now. At least I can I'm gonna go through numbers. At least I can one, remember. two <laughs> At least I can remember. Three <laughs> <laughs> kind of was. God, I sound like I the guy. Like the... Hey, this show could end up on Sesame Street. It could end up. One, the number. To... Okay. Um, oh, my oh, favorite. One pet... number for your kicker. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, Count Chocula. He was <laughs> awesome. I'm going to say my favorite. Uh, I mean, it's got to be maybe Reggie White. Just because he brought that team. You know what? He went there to get a Super Bowl and he did it. And they were not a great team for. About 35 years. I also like Sterling Sharp. I felt oh, bad that he didn't get a Super Bowl ring. He did. Well, no, yeah, Shannon, I think, gave him one. Shannon but, Sharp did give him a Super but Bowl But I would have liked for him to have got one on the field. You know, gotten one as a Packer. 
I don't know where he gave it to him at, but anyway. You know. <laughs> he gave him the Packer ring where he beat the but Packers. But will Sterling be in the Hall of Fame? No. I like Sterling, but I think his career was too short. I don't think he makes the Hall of Fame. If he does, he'll go. He's, yeah, he'll go. Well, I, I took a while. Terrell, unlike Terrell Owens. Oh, my God. But Terrell the, Owens, the little he, mouse in there that spins well, on that wheel, does he just What do you stop? mean he'll go? He'll go. Okay. Only one player in history decides not to go. No, there have been more. Actually, I was looking over here. There have been more, but... Uh, but nobody cared about them. Well, no. <laughs> they were dead. <laughs> uh, dead is... I'm so pissed off that guy didn't show up. He was dead. Dead, or apparently there have been some that have been very ill and couldn't go. Okay, so... Terrell Owens, not sick, not dead, yeah, maybe he and could. he's not going. Name me another player that's not sick, not dead, and not going. Even not Randy going. Moss is going. And he, by a lot of people's standards, he had a lot of problems with the media, but he's going. I, I'm not sure. Colin Coward actually made a good point on this. He said, we're going to, it's like you look at Randy Moss's and Terrell Owens' number side by side, they're virtually identical. I mean, they're almost the same guy. But Randy Moss is going to go there. He's going to probably be humble. He's going to give a speech, and people might be a little bit more, you know, be able to relate to him more. And then they're going to look at Terrell Owens and say, this is just what he did when he was in the NFL. He's mm -hmm. still a big baby. This is his chance well, to. Sh this that's is his a, chance that's to. All, that's all. I'm gonna stop you because it's a whole other show. Which, well, we've done the show already. But, but I, I would like to stop you just so I could make my point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, family, family, coaches, friends. I know he's doing something in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where he, where he uh, went to college. But you still, you still cheat all the people in your life that that helped you get there. So yeah. having said that, uh, what's your next team? That'd be uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Well, now. This, this now is, this is one where he could list the entire franchise from start to finish in the, as in his the, favorite players in the seventies. However, and even in the eighties, because I dug quite a few players in the eighties, I'm gonna kind of maybe. I guess if I'm going all time, it's Page, Alan Page, number eighty-eight. Uh, Google him; he's, he's he's just actually a very cool guy. He went on to become Supreme Court. Justice of the Minnesota Supreme Court. Okay. Uh, and he went to Notre Dame, which I know you hate. He was a lawyer, but that's okay. Jim Marshall would be in that. Um, Carl Eller. If you're going to go to the 80s, Keith Millard was very cool. Jeff Seaman, Netler. John Randall. I'm kind of going different areas here. Chris Carter. Randy Moss. Uh... Fran Tarkenton. You had Randall Cunningham there. Randall you Cunningham. Dante, you had Dante Culpepper. Dante Culpepper wasn't bad. Um, oh, he was the original guy, Huck it to Moss. That guy's career was all about just throwing it up so, to Moss. Well, and then it went, he trusted Moss. Every, he just said, oh, he's down there. I'll throw it to him. <laughs> you're going to get your chance in just a second. Well, your, your chance is naming the entire franchise. Well, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, and Why don't you name I'm, every coach from start to finish? <laughs> I'm going to leave a lot of them out, but I do like a lot of the players. And it's like the Bears. I, I can't just or the Broncos. I can't just pick one. Um, but I'll let you go now. And I, I've been messing with them all day because our shows run on, and it's usually me. <laughs> it, it's just like, and it's usually him. But it's like we have to pick. Uh, we have to pick our favorite player. And I want to say Randall Cunningham, but I picked him for the Eagles, so I'm not gonna pick him here. But you know, Chris Carter. It's a good pick. I like Chris Carter. I this is a guy that used to be on the Eagles, had some problems. Came to Minnesota, had turned his life around. Had a come to Jesus meeting. Yeah, but he had, but he's been a great mentor. He's a great, uh, he's a great, um, great analyst. Eyebrows. Great eyebrows. It's great eyebrows. But it's like I, I like listening to Chris Carter talk. I like I watching him play. He was a, he was a just a great professional, and great it's a mentor. Shame he never got a Super Bowl. It, it is a shame. I mean that, that's that one Super Bowl where we went against Atlanta. I, I, boy, I'll tell you, I. I know our defense was pretty good, and they were a bend don't break defense. But who covers um, Moss? I, I'm glad who we... covers Moss, and and then nobody's cut. You know, Carter could catch anything that was thrown to him. All you had to do was get it near him, and he would just well, grab I'll it. I'll I mean, it was you, amazing. I'll tell you what, the Falcons figured out a way to do it, and thankfully that that was that. Yeah, making Gary Anderson kick a field goal that he missed for the first. But I digress. Well, that's usually my job. But you go ahead. <laughs> 
Okay, what's your next? Uh, I want to. I want you to name your least favorite player, seeing as everybody on the there's only got to be one player left you haven't named. Is probably your least favorite player. Well, I think I'm going to go with Blair Walsh. Blair it's Walsh. an extra point. <laughs> How do you miss the extra point? And I don't mean a far away extra, extra point. point. Nope, we're I talking. I mean the one that's right there, that close. It's the one right there at the two yard line. Don't ever let me do that again. My wrinkles are really. Oh, boy, did they show good on that one. That was scaring me. But it's like my least favorite player comes from the same era, Robert Smith. You went with him, huh? I went with him. I went with him because he was the original guy that jumped into my head. So, Robert Smith, I just remember always thinking he was overrated as a running back. He. He, he went to Ohio State, which is another strike against him, where he was really good in Ohio State. Two of Randy's least favorite college teams have been named on this show. They have been named on this sponsored show. Sponsored by? Notre NCAA. Dame and I. <laughs> sponsored by Michigan and <laughs> USC. <laughs> Are they your favorite? No, Michigan's my favorite. I mean, that's But it's like, of course, I'm always a homer. I mean, the, I always root for CU, CSU, Air Force. So I root for, I'm a homer. I can't, I I can't help it, it. I find it odd that your favorite college. Northern Colorado favorite college team is Michigan yeah. and uh, we had a hard time with the Lions dun, 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 dun. the University of Michigan and the Detroit Lions are not the same thing uh, I think Michigan could beat them <laughs> however I will say this that year that Michigan won the uh, national championship and shared it with Nebraska Nebraska would have killed them it would have been just ugly that's not, that's, that's not true Michigan would have won that game not even close. Michigan would have won. Not even. No. Anyway, the Michigan fight song would have just went on and on and on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what's your next? I well, we're done. That. That's it. That's, that's the it? division. Oh, you got to name your least favorite player. Oh, you I, did. Blair. That's right. Blair yeah, Walsh. Because of the, your, oh, that poor little uh, thing uh, in your head. <laughs> we got to like, replace okay, that. Okay, so that's it. We've we've named our favorite and least favorite players. Your mouse is on the little turn thing it's, spinning your brain and it's like it's like i i think i gave myself too much information and then i forgot it all when we started you really it. did it's like if you do not delete this show i know how you are because <laughs> i can delete it i have the power to sit there and delete the show and say oh we have to we you have to do the do? nfc north all could, over again if you could learn to to edit you could make yourself look brilliant i could sit there and just and i would be looking like will uh, I put that close up have of me, you every time. You could like, have me going, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Sean, why? That's the Sean, whole... well, who's your favorite team over here? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you could do that. That'd be messed up. Anyway, uh, I named my least favorite. And uh, to all the troops, past, present, future. Thanks <laughs> to for all the, the troops, past, present, and future, thanks for the freedom.